Hi, thanks for joining me. I'm Jerry with VLScripts.com. Today, I'm going to quickly show you how to hook up a USB audio interface into your iPad. Stick around. To connect any USB peripheral to an iPad, you first need the Apple Lightning to USB 3 camera adapter. If you have an iPad Pro, you're going to want to purchase the Apple USB-C to USB 3 camera adapter. There are a couple of variations of each of these adapters, one with an additional socket that allows you to power your iPad as you're recording. To begin, simply connect the USB adapter into the USB port on your iPad. If you are using an iPad Pro, this will be a USB-C connection. Next, connect the USB cable into the USB socket of the adapter. Then, grab your interface. Here we're using a Zoom H6, but your device will connect in a similar way. Connect the USB cable to your interface. Then we'll connect the XLR microphone cable to the XLR socket. And then to the microphone itself. Remember to turn on phantom power if you're using a condenser microphone. Some interfaces require that you set them up as an external device for use on the iPad. For the H6, you'll want to press the menu button on the side and then use the scroll toggle to scroll down to the very last selection, USB. Select Audio Interface, Stereo Mix, then iPad using battery power. Your interface will operate differently. Consult your user manual for your specific device. Now that the cable connections are made, let's open the recording software on our iPad. Here we're using the Zoom Handy Recorder. A message pops up reminding us to turn on flight mode to reduce RF interference, which can cause noisy recordings. It's a good idea to turn on flight mode regardless of what audio software you're using. To turn on flight mode, pull down the control center and then tap the flight icon. You're almost ready to record. And while some software automatically recognizes your interface and selects the right input, chances are your software will have to be set up, such as Twisted Wave a popular recorder and editor for voice talent. Here we see Twisted Wave. Let's set the correct input channel, as it's not in the most obvious location. Tap the plus icon in the lower left. Choose the sample rate you'd like to record at, and then select mono or stereo. A new timeline window will pop up. On the lower half of the interface, select and hold the red record button. A pop-up will appear. Now, select your input. Here we'll select H6. Sometimes it takes multiple attempts for the pop-up to appear, so don't worry. If you're having trouble with your interface showing up, it can be helpful to quit the application, unplug the lightning cable, reassemble the connection, and open your software once again. After that, you should be ready to record. Grab some free practice scripts from vlscripts.com and hit that red record button. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to be notified of some more voiceover tips and tricks coming your way. Thanks for watching and I hope you found this useful. Be kind, be safe, and be well.